Hey everybody, it's me. Um, this is not a video, um, a tutorial um, today. I just wanted to talk about a few things that have been on my mind, a few things that um, I've been kind of studying and spending time with the Lord and, and that I think it's important to share with my viewers. Um, a lot of you guys know that I'm a believer and I'm so much more than makeup and all that other kind of stuff. I love makeup and there's a reason why but one of the biggest things that um, the Lord has been dealing with me about is relationship and relationships um, one of the biggest um, as hey Mickey um, one of the biggest things that we have been um, I have been studying because most of you guys know that I'm in school is covenant relationship and covenant relationship is um, prevalent in the Old Testament um, and a lot of us, I call us modern Christians, we tend to uh, kind of throw the Old Testament on the background. And we, we focus on grace and we focus on um, the love of Jesus, which is good. I love the love of Jesus and I'm th I thank God for it. However, um, relationship is so important. Um, first off, I'll start by giving the definition of covenant. Covenant is a contract an agreement, an undertaking, a commitment, a guarantee, a pledge, a promise, and a bond. Um, and a lot of people use that um, word interchangeably to to identify their church friends or the people that they kind of click up with and hang out with and stuff like that. But we have to be so careful um, when we use that word. When you use the word covenant in God allows you to have a covenant with someone that means your battle is my battle your fight is my fight your victory is my victory um and so i'm saying all of that to say um that in this season we need to be very careful number one with our associations number two with who we um call our covenants and things like that and also um with establishing the relationships that God has already or cultivating the relationships that God has already put into our lives. A lot of people have these great church friends and family relationships, but then their own blood family relationships are um, lacking or falling in the, or hanging in the balance. And just to be transparent with you, you know, I have been in that season and I am one. I, I constantly pray for my family. I, I lay on my face for my family and stuff like that. But I may miss a birthday party or doing something and stuff like that. And so we have to be careful um, that we have balance as believers. We have um, number one should be your relationship with the Lord. And if you have a relationship with the Lord, he should be telling you, you know, when your other relationships aren't up to par. Your family relationship um, is very important, secondly, after your relationship with God. Um, and that may be, like, if you're married, of course, that comes before, you know, your kids and stuff like that. There's an order um, that happens. And so God has definitely been dealing with me about that order. It's God, your spouse, if you have one, um, your children, and then your immediate family. How are we going to impact our families when we don't spend any time with them? That's a good question, right? Also, another relationship that the Lord um, has been speaking to me about is the relationship with your leadership, your pastors. I believe that everybody on this earth has a calling and something that they're supposed to be doing. But if you're just so gung ho about just doing that thing and focusing on that thing and you don't spend any time um, sitting under or sitting at the feet of the people who are your leaders, then that you're in error. I mean, there's no other way for me to put it. So develop those relationships with your pastors. If it's broken, you know, fix it. Life is too short. A lot of people are leaving this earth so rapidly and so quickly. And there, it's not, there's not even an age where you can say, oh, well, this person's 100 and they're dying. There's young people dying, middle-aged people. So um, cultivate those relationships. Um relationships with people who you minister with on your team I don't feel comfortable with ministering with anybody that I don't personally know I'm a person who like I like to break bread with you I like to talk 
makeup or you know whatever thing we have in common because I feel like if there's that trust factor there then it helps the flow in ministry I know your flow I understand who you are as a person I understand the things that make you excited I understand the things that irritate you so that's important as well um I'm going to go back to the first point I made about the relationship with the Lord. A good scripture for that is Psalm 63 and 1. Because I don't believe in just giving information. I do believe in in giving um, scripture or basis on that. So Psalms 63 and 1 and Mark 1 and 35. Family relationships. Um, If you read the Old Testament, everything that people did was about the family. But um, if you need scripture reference, look at Genesis 2 and 24 and Ephesians 6 and 4 for the family relationships. Relationships with your leaderships and um, pastors, Hebrews 13 and 7. Relationships with those you minister with or work with, um, 1 Corinthians 3 and 9. And I know I'm going kind of fast because I am actually doing something totally different and then I'm going to get off here. Um... Soul winning relationships. Soul winning relationships. I just watched the Periscope with my sister friend Devin Mays, and she was out on her day off spending time with young people. That can be ministry as well. Um, as believers, anything that you do, you, if you're supposed to be salt and light to the earth, anything that you do can become ministry. We don't have to throw the Bible at people. We don't have to throw our beliefs or anything like that to people all we have to do is show love and just be available see them because some people aren't seen and and when you love on them and you allow that light to show through them they will come to you and they'll ask you questions and stuff like that it happens to me all the time um and i'm in the the beauty and makeup realm And so a lot of people, my makeup sometimes is a door opener for different relationships and stuff like that. I'm a little silly, so sometimes I wear bright colors and things like that because everybody knows that my makeup depends on really how I'm feeling. Um, And so that's a door opener. So use those door openers to um, cultivate and open up um, different areas of relationship. Um, Also... Beware of those uh, people who want to rub elbows with certain people and stuff like that. I believe as a believer, there's a way. God has a plan for all of us. And there's a way um, for us to have relationship without um, using the world system. And what I mean by that, in the world, they rub elbows with people and they step on people to get over. But as kingdom people, I don't believe that that's something we should participate in. God will open up doors and you just walk through it. There's there's no need to, to try to be at every conference and try to be um, in a lot of these leaders' faces and stuff like that to build relationship or try to connect with the right people. That's not the God way. The God way is to be obedient to him, be obedient to the um, assignment that he has on your life and the seasons that he has in your life, and he will open those um, doors up to you. All you have to do is be ready and available, and if you have that relationship with him and he's talking to you, he'll tell you where to go and where not to go. So beware of those people who try to um, rub elbows and um, hobnob and all that kind of stuff. This is not a Fortune 500 company. We're kingdom people. And so we shouldn't shouldn't be operating in in those types of uh, world systems when it comes to our relationships. I don't know why I went there, but I did. Um, Another thing is relationships that sharpen you. The Bible speaks about um, iron sharpening iron. And... All of your relationships shouldn't be, you should not be surrounded with people who are yes men, um, who just tell you what you want to hear, who just kind of hype you up, even if you're going off a bridge. I need people around me who are going to say, Tally, your slip is hanging, um, sis, you was wrong when you said that, and stuff like that. And so those relationships are important. So if you meet someone and they rub you the wrong way, The first um, response shouldn't be to, you know, pop off on them or go off on them. The first response really should be to check yourself. Why is what this person saying irritating me? Why is what this person saying getting to me? Once you check yourself, then the Lord will start to, to work on you and the sharpening begins. And when I say sharpening, sharpening does not feel good. 
So keep that in mind. Another thing about covenant relationship is, and I'm going back to what I talked about earlier, covenant relationship is um, a relationship, um, again, that says that your fight is my fight, your victories are my victories, I'm with you when you're down, I'm with you when you're up. But also in covenant relationships, there will be seasons of sharpening for each of you. You got, Both of you should be growing from that relationship. Both of you should be um, cultivating each other's dreams and visions and, and having conversations um, above the surface stuff. You know, not how was your day? Oh, my day was fine. A covenant relationship is someone who sees you in the good, the bad, and ugly and accepts it. They don't judge you. They're, um, it's a place where you can be totally comfortable. And so that's kind of something that um, I've been kind of studying and I'm no super expert, but um, I did feel like I needed to share that with my friends, family, and loved ones. I appreciate you guys supporting me on the, the makeup videos and things like that, but I'm so much more than that. Um, I'm a kingdom child first. I'm a child of God first. And um, <clears throat> it, I would be doing my um, the people who support me a disservice if I didn't give you everything that I was. Um, my social media allows me to be very transparent. My social media also allows me to reach a lot of people. I appreciate the um, messages and words of encouragement that I get um, in my inbox and stuff like that. So I just want to touch on um, relationship and um, covenant and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, to just speak, you know, good relationship, healthy, um, cultivating relationships into into you guys in this season especially with everything that's going on in this world and everything that's going on um just nationally and internationally this is going to be a good season to kind of rein in those relationships you know if your church relationships are good check on your family make sure your family is good um spend some time with people love on people because people are leaving this earth really fast and I would hate for it to be a case where you were off so busy doing one thing that um, you didn't check on someone who is in your sphere of influence. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. I said this was a quick scope. Um, check out the replay. I did give some scripture, some scriptures and things like that at the beginning. Um, remember, the order of relationship is relationship with God, relationship with family relationship with pastors relationship with team members that you minister with soul winning relationships which means um investing your time in someone who uh, like a mentor mentee type relationship um disciplining relationships which could be like the covenant relationship the iron sharpens iron relationships um encouraging relationships um that would be maybe like a spiritual mom or something like that. Um, spiritual overseers. Sharpening relationships. Again, um, we need those relationships to sharpen us and to help us to, to be better and to do better. And also, in relationships, that you should always have someone who you are mentoring or someone that you are pulling up as well as have someone who is pouring into you and pulling you up. I call it the circle of life <laughs> just because I like, um, hey cousin, um, just because I like the Lion King, but, um, there's, that's the importance of relationship. There's always someone who's, um, for lack of a better phrase, who's doing less than you are and you encourage them to encourage someone else. Um, that's how you, that's, that's how we're going to see this next generation become better. I feel like my generation, we didn't have um, a lot of church mothers. We didn't have a lot of um, things that the older generations before us had. It's like there was a gap um, when it came to relationship and mentoring and stuff like that. And so I feel like um, to, and this is just tally, this is just my personal opinion, but I feel like to restore that um, where I feel like my generation is lacking, we're going to have to reach up to the people who are older than us and ask them questions. Sit at their feet. Humble yourself. Um, as well as pull in some younger girls who are younger than yourself and tell them, you know, hip them to game. I don't mind sharing my story um, with young ladies and telling them mistakes that I made 
um, different things that I did that wasn't because where I am now is totally where I was not even five to ten years ago. So I don't mind being transparent and sharing my story. It's time for us to talk about some of the things that we've been through. And it's time for us to share um, our experiences with people because there's a lot of hurting people. And that's another important thing in relationship. We have to get outside of our own selves and see the people around us. Yes, right. We got to hit them to game. We have to to kind of pull them out of that, that pit of hell before they go through it. We do them a disservice if, if we see them running into a wall and we don't pad it for them. Now, if they, if you give them the information and they decide not to take it, you did your job. But if you give them the information and they grow from it, you also did your job. So that's it, guys. I'm going to get off here. I got some work to do, but I wanted to share a um, relationship with you guys. Um, my videos will be, you know, of course, I'll do the makeup and stuff like that, as you see. Can't go nowhere looking crazy, right? Um, but I'm more than makeup. Beauty is um, my gift, my calling, but it's also um, my ministry. I'm a counselor psychologist by degree, so um, I believe in being beautiful on the inside as well. Um, and I believe that beauty shines from the inside out. So thank you for tuning in for this first Talking with Tally. Um, I appreciate you guys. Hit me um, in the inbox if you guys need the scriptures that I gave earlier. Um, or if you have any questions, if you have any um, suggestions on things that I can talk about any other time. Like this was just something I had been studying and been praying about for a little while. And I thought, let me share that with my uh, Facebook friends and family. So um, that's how this came about. Again, I don't. Um, consider myself to be a guru or anything like that. This is just my personal opinion, and this is just something that the Lord dropped on me. Um, and I believe in sharing knowledge and sharing the wealth. So I love you guys, and I pray that you guys have a good night. My night, uh, my day just started. I work evening hours, so I'm always up late. So you guys have a good night, get um, some good rest, and I hope that in something that I said, you got some nuggets out of it. Um, until next time.